picture it. Brooklyn, 1948. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best one-liners from situational comedies that we love to throw into our everyday conversations. Hey, we won! Whoa, I knew we could make it! That's all right. it! Number 10, Bazinga, The Big Bang Theory. Sheldon Cooper has given us many a quotable moment throughout his time on The Big Bang Theory. Okay, how's that? You actually had it right in the first place. <laughs> Once again, you've fallen for one of my classic pranks. <laughs> Bazinga. His rendition of Soft Kitty, his three knocks on Penny's door, and his insistence on his spot are just a few. But it's his catchphrase that we can't help but constantly repeat. Bazinga. <laughs> Anytime Sheldon pulls a prank, eggs someone on, or needs to punctuate a joke, we're sure to hear this line on the show. And when we're doing any of those things in real life, sometimes we can't help but say it as well. Bazinga, punk, now we're even. Considering Sheldon isn't normally good at jokes, and sometimes barely even understands the concept of them, it's pretty funny that he has a punchline. And we think Bazinga suits him perfectly. Bazinga! Number 9. Nip It in the Bud, The Andy Griffith Show Don Knotts was a hilarious comedic actor in his time with multiple memorable lines, but his utterance of this particular phrase is definitely one of the things he's best known for. The minute it looks like there's gonna be trouble, we got to nip it! Nip it in the bud! Nip it! In. Let's hear it! On The Andy Griffith Show, he plays Sheriff Barney Fife, and he utters this phrase as a way to keep the Mayberry residents in line. Encouraging people to cut something out before it gets too out of hand, this phrase is something that we definitely hear in everyday life, even over half a century after it was first heard on this show. Well, today's eight-year-olds are tomorrow's teenagers. I say this calls for action, and now, nip it in the bud! First sign of youngsters going wrong, you got to nip it in the bud. Its literal meaning comes from the concept of clipping a plant before it blossoms, but it applies to so much more in life, and no one delivers the line quite like Sheriff Fife. Nip it. You go read any book you want on the subject of child discipline, and you'll find that every one of them is in favor of bud nipping. <laughs> Care of it. Only one way to take care of it. Nip it. In the bud. <laughs> Number eight. What you talking about, Willis? Different strokes. There are very few lines from a child sitcom character that are more famous than this one. Spoken by adult actor Gary Coleman portraying the adorable Arnold Jackson. I never cared much for the school. Say what? You know something? It really doesn't matter to me whether you go there or not. Who'd you talk about? <laughs> Whenever Arnold is confused, taken aback, or appalled by anything his older brother says or does, he utters this line, and it's just as hilarious as it is adorable. Well, come off those clouds, little brother. Huh? Don't get too used to this place. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> this show is generally full of funny, emotional, and relatable moments, and this iconic catchphrase is certainly no exception. Always said with a cocked eyebrow and a sassy tone, Arnold's line never fails to make us laugh, and we love emulating it every chance we get. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I said ignore her. If I ignore her, she knows I like her. That's it. I got a better idea. I'll ignore you. <laughs> Number 7. Missed it by that much. Get Smart. A classic show from the 60s, Get Smart, certainly has a lot of quotable moments, most of them from the star of the show himself, Mr. Maxwell Smart. From and loving to would you believe it? All the way to even more memeable phrases. Our favorite bumbling spy has had us in stitches more times than Jaime has hopped to it. But it's Smart's most famous line that we find ourselves repeating in our own lives time and again. Missed it by that much. <laughs> the line is self-explanatory, and even though Max uses it when he narrowly escapes disaster or even death, we use missed it by that much when we're on the cusp of something and just fall short. Missed me by that much. <laughs> Number 6. Did I do that? Family Matters. Steve Urkel is a classic character who may have started on the sidelines, but he became arguably the most memorable aspect of Family Matters, and particularly known for uttering this immortal phrase. 
Did I do that? Urkel is an over-the-top nerd with impeccable physical comedy, and the antics in which he finds himself are almost as laughable as the sentence he utters when his hijinks ensue. What a lovely house. <laughs> Did I do that? This is a line we've said many times, particularly whenever something is out of whack or goes wrong, and it's clearly our fault. Try as we might, we can't do the line justice the way Urkel can, but our disasters aren't normally quite as dire as the ones he causes. Number 5. You got it, dude. Full House The youngest Tanner sister has amazing comedic timing, and when she combines that with being cute as a button, she proves herself as an iconic sitcom character. Now go back in your crib and go to sh Who let you out of your crib? I let me out. You mean you climbed over the bars and jumped down all by yourself? You got it, dude. <laughs> Even from the early seasons of Full House, when she was a literal baby, she's hilarious, and every time she says her catchphrase, we laugh and are all at once. She's confident and full of attitude in her delivery, and she normally utters her phrase to her father, uncle, or Joey, who, along with us, can't help but melt. Hey, you, wake up. <laughs> I think maybe that one's a wallflower. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> we love to say this when anyone asks us to complete a task, and of course, you've got to chuck a thumbs up in the air as you say it, just the way Michelle does. Number 4. Yada yada yada. Seinfeld. Is there a show out there that spawned more classic phrases than Seinfeld? I noticed you speak on the phrase yada yada. Is yada yada bad? Oh, yada yada's good, she's very succinct. Lines like double dipping, sponge worthy, and hello Newman have entered the zeitgeist. But it's the yada 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 that we can't help but use pretty much on a daily basis. It's a way of breezing over unimportant parts of the story, and we love using it when we just want to get to our point. I gotta tell you, I am loving this yada yada thing. You know, I can gloss over my whole life story. The way yada 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 is used in the episode in which it's primarily featured is totally hilarious. If you haven't seen it, there's a dentist, a shoplifter, Elaine has the bisque, and yada yada yada, you've simply got to check. It out. Oh, you want to say goodbye? I was just getting out of the shower and yada yada yada. All right, enough! Enough! From now on, no more yada yadas. Just, just give me the full story. Number three, legendary. How I met your mother. Barney Stinson practically speaks only in catchphrases, which is pointed out by his friends as one of his annoying habits. So it makes sense that his most famous one would make the list. Barney tries to make every day legendary, and he has a catchphrase to go along with that sentiment. He also sometimes partially interrupts himself in the middle of normal speech to draw out the suspense, which is legendary in and of itself. Yes! Yes! We're back! We are back! And Ted, my boy, it's gonna be legend! Wait for it. We just love saying legendary with the same enthusiasm and optimism as he does. We also love telling people to suit up when it's time to don our best attire. But finding a better line than legendary? Challenge, Challenge. accepted. <laughs> Number two, that's what she said, The Office. There are few shows with as many memorable moments, characters, and phrases as this one, but there is one line that stands out above the rest. Everything out of these files and into the open where it can be resolved. All right, how about the Phyllis Angela dispute? You already did me. That's what she said. This phrase has roots in Saturday Night Live, as it's used frequently in Wayne's world sketches, but it gained serious popularity after becoming a signature phrase of Michael Scott. How long have you known Ms. Levinson? Six years and two months. And you were directly under her the entire time? That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. He uses it as a laughable double entendre after any of his employees say something that could be interpreted as sexual. And even though this might not be the most workplace appropriate phrase, we crack up every time. We use it in the same types of scenarios in our lives, and we're grateful the office brought this line back into the mainstream. That's what she said.
<laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. How you doing, friends? It only makes sense that the most memorable and easily reusable sitcom line comes from one of the greatest sitcoms and sitcom characters of all time. <laughs> well, this is Chandler, Hi. and you know Monica and Ross, Thank and you. that's Phoebe, and that's Joey. Hey, how you doing? Don't you? <laughs> Joey Tribbiani is one of the more well-known ladies' man on any TV series, and it's only fitting that he has a pickup line to go along with this persona. It's his opening line when he's talking to women, and most of the time the ladies melt. I look a woman up and down and I say, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, please. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Is it really so simple, asking someone how they're doing, but in a sultry, even suggestive tone? No wonder we jokingly recreate this every chance we get. We just wonder if anyone would actually fall for this as a pickup line decades after it was originally heard on Friends. Hi, Joey. Hey, how you doing? Which one of these lines do you find yourself using on the daily? Let us know in the comments. That wasn't challenge. challenge. accepted. <laughs> In the next 24 hours, I'm going to do every single thing on this list. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.